Milli Vanilli was one of the most popular music acts of the late 1980s and early 1990s. Their debut album, All or Nothing, sold over 8 million copies worldwide, with each single from the album reaching the top five of the Billboard Hot 100. These hits included Girl You Know It's True, I'm Gonna Miss You, Blame It on the Rain, and Baby Don't Forget My Number. In 1990, Milli Vanilli was awarded the Grammy for Best New Artist. However, this honor was later revoked when it was revealed that Rob Pilatus and Fab Morvan, the faces of the group, had not sung any of the vocals on their records. The group was the creation of music producer Frank Farian, who was also responsible for other successful acts like Boney M, Labouche, and No Mercy. The actual singers behind Milli Vanilli's hits were Brad Howell, John Davis, Jody Rocco, Linda Rocco, and Charles Shaw. Fans were deeply shocked and felt profoundly betrayed. Milli Vanilli had been promoted as a legitimate musical group, and many fans had formed strong emotional connections with their music and image. When the truth came out, it led to widespread disappointment and anger, especially because the group had achieved massive success, including winning a Grammy. The scandal ignited a wave of public outrage. Fans and the general public felt deceived not only by Rob and Fab, but by the entire music industry that had allowed such a deception. The backlash was severe, with some fans demanding refunds for albums and concert tickets, and others expressing their anger through letters, calls to radio stations, and even protests. The scandal also eroded trust in the music industry as a whole. Fans began to question the authenticity of other artists, leading to a more skeptical and cynical view of pop music. The incident highlighted how much image and marketing could be manipulated, causing fans to doubt the integrity of other acts. Over time, fans' reactions became more varied. While many remained angry and believed the group deserved their downfall, others began to sympathize with Rob and Fab, realizing that they were also victims of the situation. Some fans admired their attempts to rebuild their lives and careers, acknowledging the immense pressure they had been under. Despite the initial outrage, the Milli Vanilli story has continued to captivate people. Fans and the public have remained interested in the details of the scandal, as seen through documentaries, films, and interviews that revisit the incident. For some, the story has become a cautionary tale about the pitfalls of fame and the darker aspects of the music industry. The scandal left a lasting mark on pop culture. It became a reference point in discussions about authenticity in music and entertainment, and the phrase, pulling a Milli Vanilli, entered the language as a way to describe deception in performance. Despite the negative consequences, the controversy ensured that Milli Vanilli would be remembered in music history. Frank Farian's role behind the scenes, his power in the industry, and his ability to control the narrative allowed him to escape the severe personal and professional consequences that Rob Pilatus and Fab Morvan faced. While Farian didn't emerge completely unscathed, he was able to continue his career without the same level of lasting damage. Rob Pilatus and Fab Morvan, the frontmen of Milli Vanilli, experienced very different outcomes after the scandal that ended their careers in the early 1990s. Rob struggled deeply after the scandal. The intense media scrutiny, the loss of their Grammy, and the exposure that he and Fab had not sung on their records took a significant toll on his mental health. Pilatus faced numerous personal challenges, including legal issues, substance abuse, and depression. Tragically, Rob Pilatus died on April 2, 1998, in a Frankfurt, Germany hotel room from a suspected overdose of alcohol and prescription pills. He was 32 years old. Fab Morvan, however, took a different path after the scandal. Unlike Pilatus, Morvan was able to rebuild his life and career. Over time, he focused on learning to sing and becoming a legitimate musician. Fab released his own music, worked as a DJ, and appeared in various media to discuss the Milli Vanilli experience. He embraced his past and used it as a platform for reinvention. Morvan continues to work in music and has participated in projects that explore the Milli Vanilli story, including documentaries and interviews. He remains active in the entertainment industry, using his experiences as both a cautionary tale and a source of inspiration. The story of Milli Vanilli is one of the most infamous in music history. 
While Rob Pilatus' life ended in tragedy, Fab Morvan has managed to turn a painful chapter into a story of personal growth and resilience. The Millie Vanilli saga has been revisited in various forms of media, including a feature-length documentary titled Millie Vanilli, directed by Luke Coram and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. The documentary features interviews with Fab Morvan, Brad Howell, Charles Shaw, Jody Rocco, Linda Rocco, the estate of Rob Pilatus, the estate of John Davis, and many others involved in the story.